Hello and welcome to today's form building webinar. My name is Nick and today we'll be talking about the rating scale and calculation tool. If you do have any questions as we go along, please hold on to those questions. I will be opening that chat up towards the end of the webinar. In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump right in. When you log into the account, you'll always be taken to the send and receive page first. Today, we'll just be working off of an existing packet. So we'll go ahead and click down to the My Forms page. And the packet that we'll be working off of is going to be our Form Doctor Training Packet. So we'll click the three dots on the right side of that packet and we'll click Edit Forms. This will take us into step one of our builder, which is the Add Forms page. On this page, we'll be able to add or remove any tabs to this packet. We only have one pack or one tab in this packet right now, which is our demographics tab that we worked on in a previous webinar. Today, we'll be adding a scratch tab, which is just going to be a blank area for us to build out a custom form. And we'll just title this calculation rating scale. And this is the tab that we'll be working off of today. We can go ahead and save name just to save that tab title. And we won't be adding any other tabs to this packet today. So we'll just go ahead and click next to build. Once you click that button, you'll be taken to step two, which is the builder. And it is here where we can update the form itself. We'll go ahead and click over to our second tab so that we can work on that new tab that we've just added. And again, this is going to be a blank area for you to build out whatever you need here. A scratch tab will always come with a patient name widget. That's simply because this widget will be needed at least once in each packet as the information filled out into this widget is going to be the name that that submission is logged under in the send and receive page and the records page. But all right, as mentioned earlier today, we will be talking about the rating scale, which can be found up towards the bottom of this first section on the left sidebar and the form elements section. We'll go ahead and drag one of those onto our build area. And we'll also be talking about the calculation tool, which can be found at the bottom of that same section. These two elements were intended to work together. And the calculation tool will just allow you to calculate a score or a number based off of certain answer selections made by that rating scale. And the rating scale is a really good candidate for any section of questions that all share the same answer selections. If we click that orange pencil icon that appears when we hover over it, we can open that up and we can scroll down a little bit. We'll be able to update that title, whatever questionnaire this may be. And then we can update the questions themselves and add or remove any if, if necessary. We'll go ahead and add a couple more just for the purposes of this demonstration today. And then if you scroll to the bottom of this widget, you do have access to change the ratings drop down here. It will default to satisfied, unsatisfied, which is just going to control the language that is used for the answer selections. We offer another few set of presets. However, if you are going to be using the calculation tool, you will want to ensure that you're using the custom rating style. Once, when, once you select the custom rating style, it will open up the custom ratings area down below. And this will allow you to change the wording of the answer selections as well, set a value for each one of them as well. The value is going to be necessary because that will be the number that's calculated into the calculation tool. Just to make this a bit simpler, we'll remove the first and last option just so we're dealing with three here. And what we're going to want to do is go ahead and set that value for our rating scale. We'll leave unsatisfied to be zero. However, we'll change neutral to one and satisfied to two. And now once a patient selects neutral or satisfied, they'll automatically be involved in that calculation tool here once, we, once we've completed the setup. And then once we have the answer selection set, the value set, all we're going to need to do is add our questions into the question areas. And then we're going to need to set up our calculation tool. If we close up our rating scale and we open our calculation tool, we can update the title of this as well. Maybe this is going to say score instead. And then we're going to need to use the calculation expression field. It shows you here a demonstration of 
the field names in a set of brackets separated by a plus sign. So this is just an example of how to set this up. But basically, you're going to set down a pair of brackets and then whatever the calculation is. Today, we'll just be adding all of these up. Uh, however, as long as the math is correct, the calculation tool will calculate that expression. I always like to just set up the calculation tool before copying and pasting everything in there. So we're just going to set five sets of empty brackets separated by plus signs. And then what we're going to need to do is go back up to our rating scale. And we're going to use these randomized short codes. And this is going to control what is being pulled. So this short code will be tied to question one. And if we use this short code in those brackets in the calculation tool, then when question one is answered, it will calculate the value of the answer selection for that question. So we'll just need to copy and paste these short codes into those five brackets. And each time you add a question, or if you add an element onto a form, it will generate a randomized shortcode that's not being used anywhere else in the form. That's just going to prevent any unwanted pop auto population from happening. If two elements share the same shortcode, they will auto populate and act as one element. So you'll want to make sure that if you are using anything other than these randomized shortcodes, that you're not using them anywhere else in the form. So for the first three, we'll use these randomized shortcodes just to show you that those will work and how they will. We'll just copy all three and place them into those brackets. However, we're going to change numbers four and five just to simulate uh, if you were going to change these to something else. So maybe we could set this to Q4 for question four and Q5 for question five. Just to demonstrate that you don't have to use these randomized shortcodes, you're just safe using these knowing that they won't be used anywhere else. If you do change them to be something different, again, just make sure you're not using Q4 and Q5, for instance, in this case, anywhere else in the form. All right. But I find that when you change them like this to something simple, Q4 and Q5, for instance, when you do have a, a questionnaire with 20, 30, 40 questions, it can be a little troublesome to go back in and update something and find it if, if you do need to go back and update it. So I always recommend just changing it to something simple like Q1 through 5. And that way, whenever you go in, if you do need to update anything, you'll know exactly where that's at because it'll be much more uh, easily read to you. But once we're done here, we can go ahead and close this up and save our changes. Our calculation tool is set up. Our rating scale is set to where we need it to be. And our values have also been set as well. Let's go ahead and test this out. We'll go next to style next to publish and back to account. The calculation tool is the only widget that will need to be tested on a live version of the form. So we'll go back to our My Forms page and we'll click that public link of the form underneath the title of the packet. And we'll click over to our calculation rating scale tab and then we can go ahead and start making our selections and we'll see that that score is automatically going to be generated based on the selections that they make. All right. We'll go back in to our form here. And just to demonstrate everything else that you can do with a, the calculation tool, you will be able to use this with the rating scale as it as was its intention. However, any other field that does have a value field, you'll be able to use as well. Oftentimes, I would see this most used with a drop down widget. But if we open up that drop down widget, we can see that we also have that value field. So this one will be a bit different as the short code that you'll use to enter into that those brackets in the calculation tool is, will be found here in the name field underneath the title. The values can then be set here. So we would have zero, one, two, whatever that case may be. But the, the drop downs and the single select options, these will also be able to be used with that calculation tool. And you can even, and we can just set one of these up here. We'll do another calculation tool. 
And then this one will title drop down, drop down score. And we'll add two drop downs. And we'll just go ahead and use those short codes that they've generated for us. Right. And our second one here. And since we duplicated that element, we had already set our value, so we don't have to set those again in that second drop down. But we will title these differently drop down one and two. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and add a third calculation tool and calculate off of those calculations. So maybe we could do score one, and I will change these just to make this a little bit easier. But just to show you what you will be able to do. And then maybe we're going to have this one subtract whatever our drop down score is. And we'll set those short code names there and enter that into the bracket. And we'll go ahead and save this again. Back to account, back to the My Forms page, and back to that public link of the form. Click over to our calculation tool. And then now, once we have selected, we'll see that that second calculation is adding up. But once we have selected our drop downs, it will subtract the score from that that we have here. So basically what we have is our questionnaire calculating into our first score, our drop downs calculating into our second score, and then both calculation tools uh, being used in that third calculation. So we have our top score minus our bottom score equals our final calculation. So you can do a lot with the calculation tools pretty much as, as much as your creativity and your mind will allow. Uh, and again, as long as that math is correct in that, that calculation expression, it will be able to calculate uh, whatever has been input. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up that chat just in case we do have any questions today. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and click on down to the My Account section. Uh, we do host these form building webinars every Tuesday and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we are going through doing a series this month in the month of February uh, to view the schedule of that series and also to view past uh, episodes of this series. Please go to my account, support, and click on that search guide. That will take you to our product guide. But if you go to the form doctor updates down at the bottom right, and the February 2023 webinar schedule, you'll be able to keep up with all of the webinar goings on for that month. The onboarding schedule will be here. This will not change much. Uh, it will generally be most of the same information. However, if you do scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see our schedule for our form building webinar. We are posting previous ones as well. So you, if you do miss one, don't fret. You can always come back here and it will take you right to that YouTube page where you can uh, view that webinar with timestamps as well. All right, it does not look like we have any questions today, so that will do it for the calculation tool and the rating scale for this webinar. Uh, again, we host these every Tuesday and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. There's no limit to how many of these you can join. They are free. If you do have any staff members or coworkers that you would like to learn this information as well, please feel free to give them that link and have them join us uh, as well. And then on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, we host onboarding webinars uh, where we go through the account and we'll talk about how to send forms, update users, and uh, go through basically general use of the account. So again, feel free to join us for as many of these as you like. And thank you again for joining us. Hope to see you again next time. Hope you all have a great afternoon.